Hey guys, got a got a package in today. Um, I believe this was is from OMGRC.com. He's uh, Joe. He's uh, he has a little RC business himself. He uh, sells RCs and parts and all that stuff. So go online and check him out. So a good guy does a live on YouTube uh, Fridays. It's kind of kind of jumps around what time he does them at, but it's usually around like uh, anywhere from noon to five Pacific time, somewhere in between there. I know he's on the East Coast in Florida, so I believe that's where he's out of. So, um, so I bought this from him. I pre-ordered it. So it's an old platform. You can see kind of what it might be, but it ain't that. It's the same, uh, same company, but I did not buy no Mini Z. <laughs> so, get this box open. Ah, there she is. Look at that. It's pretty looking. So, I got a opinion gear for it which I probably didn't need but I bought it ahead of time so I'm gonna go brushless with that and a a drive shaft because the one in there's plastic and when you go brushless it starts um, it starts wobbling there she is so and that's who, that's who I bought it from. So go check out his channel. He's a great guy. He's on YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, he doesn't have any. So. Yeah, great guy. He's got all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff to buy. He does yeah, YouTube videos and all that stuff too, so. Um, I think he might have popped it open. No, yeah, looks like the seal still might be on there. Yeah, factory seal still on there. So, let's do uh, It's the Phaser MK2, which uh, has been out for a long time. It's um, the same thing. Let's get the 14. This is the Chinese side. There we go. It's at the 14 turn, um, 60 amp. Um, I wonder if this will take, nah, and 2S LiPo battery pack factory setting. So it only takes 2S. Um, well, we might put that in something else and see if it takes 3S. <laughs> We're not sure yet. Um, this radio, I think I have one of those over there, um, in one of my crawlers, so, and it works pretty good, uh, full, full, full ball bearings, oil shocks, and I like these, uh, these scale look, brake disc, um, it's a 200 meter body. Yeah, it looks and this is the new body that came out with it. That's what it is. That's why it's um which is the 2020 Mercedes AMG GT3. So let's get this bad boy open. Since the platform's been out there for a long time, it's just the body that's new pretty much. Oh look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That thing is sweet. Oh. I don't care about the controller and all that, you guys. Well, come back to that. Let's look at the car first, huh? Man, that body on there is, is a nice one. <laughs> ah, ah. 
This is JT. Ah, the smell of a new body. S smell of a new RC car. <laughs> Uh, it comes with all sorts of extra parts, but look at that bad boy. That's, uh, he's underneath, nothing on top, huh? Comes with the mirrors. Got little windshield wipers down there. Oh no, that's a sticker. But man, the color on that thing is just awesome. Got a little, little wing in the back. And it's even got light buckets. So you can add lights to them. You guys see that? You can put lights in this thing. It's sweet. You know, up in the front too. Bolt it in there. So these little let's peel this off. Oh. Yeah, I had to wait like um, I don't know, it was a good month and a half at least for this thing. K2s were, were out of stock everywhere and everything. I was even trying to order parts for it and they just kept kept saying they were out of stock forever so yeah, I ordered everything through him. I still have a motor mount, mount coming for this and uh, that hasn't arrived yet. He said those are even on back order so yeah those are that's pretty nice feel pretty solid put the mirrors out the mirrors have the pins that's nice and then here's the platform so it's a phaser 2 on off switch. This is your 14 turn motor. 60 amp ESC. And your servos under here. It's actually a pretty heavy car. So I bet you it's all metal gears. And then um, I think these are all plastic in here. Yeah. Um, They're just, they're not adjustable shocks, except for the spacer, you gotta put the spacer in the shocks. But yeah, um, I did buy this bigger one to put in. We can, we're gonna do that. Run the stock motor, that's what I, my plan is. Get some speed out of it. And then uh, we'll put this pinion in and get some speed out of it and see what we get for speed. And then um, I have a Hobby Wing 4000 4, KV motor to put in this. Go brushless. Um, we'll probably, um, I don't know, we'll have to figure out how to do that here. Um, I'm gonna have to take, I'm probably gonna have to move all this stuff around. But we'll see. Um, put the ESC up here or something. Um, yeah, I didn't realize it was that short in here. See, we'll have to take this cover off and see. All right, so I got this out, the controller. Um, I said, this has been out for a while, so four, four AA batteries. Um, I like kind of how skinny it is right here. You can get my clamp on for my uh, camera. Looks like it's a three position switch here for something. Um, that might be, 
Oh man, that might be a little different there. That might take a minute to get used to, but it's got quite a bit of controllers. I don't know if that's in or not, but got th throttle trim. Um, throttle EPA, reverse, steering trim, steering dual rate, normal, reverse, for throttle and steering, there's your on and off switch. And it does come with Velcro strap, one Velcro strap there, it looks like, and it goes underneath, which is all right, I guess. Shouldn't wear a hole through it. Um, and it is a Dean's plug. Boo. Oh, no, I'm just playing. Dean's is all right. I am going to cut it off there and put um, uh, EC5s on there, though. That's what I run with all my my bigger batteries. So even my uh, my 2S. The only thing I run smaller is my XT60s and my crawlers, and then Deans and all my tiny stuff, my 116 scale. So, but uh, that's kind of that's kind of different, huh? these big knobs up there to stop the steering I guess I guess they're throwing it too far hmm. okay let's put that back on there man that does look good and then these tires too oh these tires are really soft man they're I can imagine these things ballooning. Um, that's one thing I'm not liking. I wonder if that's easy to change or not. I'll have to look into that. Um, now if anybody out there watching, I know you have to change the rims too, but is that something, um, something easy to change into the 12 meter, millimeter hex so you can run like uh, foam tires on it or um, I'll have to see hmm it's different I didn't know it did that but um okay we'll check into that but like I said if any of you guys know uh, leave a comment down there for me to see if there's a easier way to do that Oh, I wonder, no, these are just different styles, huh? So here's the stuff that comes in the bag, real quick. I'll leave this for the end, so if you guys wanted to skip this part, you can. <laughs> so here's, uh, here's some stickers, which I will be putting uh, one of these up on my sticker board. Um, this is Chinese, I imagine. That's what that is. Oh, it's part, part Chinese, part English. So you just gotta read on what line. So, see. And it just tells you how to do, you know, how to do everything. It shows you how to put on, uh, oh, this is your diff how to put it back together or what, what's what. And these are your blow ups. So it does come with all the blow up parts and all that and how to put everything together. So it shows you there's your motor mount right there. So I have an aluminum one coming whenever they get back in stock. Your tires, that might explain how to do it, but no, it's probably not because it's a special piece probably. So and all your parts then uh how to put your wing on and build the wing right here so then you have a bind plug and this is cool this is uh 
the tool. That's Kyosho. You got so you got three, four, five, five and a half, seven, eight. That's I think that's hilarious the way they did that. And hopefully you guys have been able to see what I've been doing here. But <laughs> how they skipped six and went to a five point five. You know, they went from five, five point five to seven rather than doing a six. Seven, eight. They went five point five. I never understood that. But so there's that, which is cool. It's a nice little wrench to put in your toolbox. Um, some more disc brake lookalikes. So there's a. I'll have to pull one of those off later and find out. But those are just plastic. Um, some more spacers couple screws um, the spacers for the shocks to, to a servo arm a couple uh, where do those go oh those are for the shocks for the bottom of the shocks huh yeah so if you rip out the bottom of the shock you got a couple of uh, I forget what they're called, but you got the bottom of the shock there. So looks like some other spacers of some sort. And then for your shock, the inside of your shock, you got another bladder there. Uh, maybe a different size. These are like two whole bladders. So that's kind of cool. Extra little parts. And then of course your three Allen wrenches. Uh, 1.5 to 2.5. You see how this is plastic and really flimsy. Uh, zoom in out. Oh, zoom in. That is really flimsy. So I got the. And that doesn't look. Well, yeah, it does. Okay. Hopefully that's the right size. This is supposed to be the short one. So that one, and then um, I also was going to order this in, in metal too because it doesn't make sense to me why, although it's pretty good there, huh? It slides all the way in there. Probably going to order this metal one and this metal one inside here because it doesn't make sense putting this metal one into plastic pieces like that. But I guess it's the the way the the drive shaft, when you put too much speed in it, it starts wobbling, gets that wobble in it, and this one won't do that. So that's why we got it. So there you go, guys. My new, uh, my new phaser. Phaser. Phaser MK2. 2020 Mercedes AMG GT3. Such a it's nice body, okay? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Huh? Nice body. How about that? Is that better? So, just uh, let me pull you out of here, guys. And give you a side view real quick. Just because how it sits. Look at how it sits all low to the ground. So it's supposed to get up and go. Um, Joe Joe sells one that has the 400 or 4,000 kV hobby wing in it already. It's the one with the 60 amp ESC. It's pretty much what I got. So you can run a two, three S on it. And uh, he had his going over 60, I think almost 70, somewhere around there. So, and that's my wall. Shout out to you guys. UDRC, JJ Customs, Fox City, RC Propaganda, Sticky's RC, Fern Solo, and uh, Team Vega. Team Vega RC. So it's my sticker board. So you guys want to send me stickers too, go ahead. Uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram, Kurtz RCs. So 
All right. That's my little quick unboxing, guys. Next one will be a little quick run down the street to figure out how to get a GPS inside there, my phone in there. So um, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends. Y'all have a good day.